Weather Nation meteorologist Patrick Crawford here with another segment of Weather Undefeated, where we talk about weather and the impacts it brings on sports. Today, we are talking polo. That's the sport that we're going to cover, and we're joined now by Carluccio Ariano, Executive Director of Services for the United States Polo Association. Carluccio, we really ap appreciate you joining us here on Weather Undefeated. When we're looking at the forecast, what would be the ideal forecast? The wind is probably good for the horses, but it's not good for the players because as soon as you get running, that's a lot of wind in your face and, mm -hmm. and it's very difficult to hear and it's very difficult to uh, control the ball. So we don't want too much wind, you know, a light breeze in the 70s, you know, kind of like what we all like to hang out in, right? If you're not in the shade, uh, that's the kind of weather we like to hang out in. That's the perfect conditions for playing polo. You were spot on. You don't want the field to be too hard. You don't want it to be too dry. Uh, you don't want it to be heavy and muddy. Heavy is a term meaning like if the horse has to struggle and its hooves are going deep into the into the turf, that that'll create heavy playing conditions. And you don't want that either. So um, if it's rained a day or two before the game and you've got that light breeze going, um, that's a great day for polo. Can you kind of talk about how it's important to know the weather forecast for what the horse is going through as well? Horses. Uh, have a difficult time with heat. They can do they do great with cold weather. They're all right in the rain, but um, but when it's too hot, uh, you have to be cautious. You're on top of a horse, and they're playing competitively. It's it's a it's a um, hand-eye coordination sport with a you know with a with a mallet, and so you're using something to go through goals. and And the excitement of the game definitely uh, gets transmitted to the horse, and so the horse. Um, will generate a lot of heat. And, and as we know, heat rises, right? So if the horse is generating heat, the heat transfers up to the polar. And, and that's the one thing that we're, we're always looking out for is how hot is it gonna be? Because it's gonna get hotter when you're playing on top of a horse. And then as far as players go, are they looking at that forecast? Say they got a big match coming up. Players, uh, we follow the weather very closely. And I think that we're always looking whether or not uh, game's going to get pushed back because of rain or if it's going to get pushed further into the afternoon or earlier into the morning because of um, forecasted heat conditions. A, a field that's too wet will, will affect playability because the field can get a little slippery. But the way these fields are made for the most part and the turf that we're using, they can handle water. They can handle a lot of water. So if it's not raining and if there's not lightning um, and it's, it's sunny and, and windy enough, there's, there's probably going to be polo. Fantastic. Wow. Very informative. I appreciate you so much, Carluccio, for joining us here this week on Weather Undefeated.